to deliver a message to Prince Bodwin. I am Prince Bodwin. King Mark orders immediate surrender of this castle. Agree to these terms and King Mark will conduct you safely into exile. And if I disagree? In that case, King Mark will storm this castle forthwith and you will hang in your own courtyard. Neither I nor my people will give ourselves to the greed of your master. We prefer death to dishonor. Lord Mark, Prince Boudwin refuses your command to surrender. So the weakling prefers death. Sire, a horseman's trying to escape from Boudwin's castle. The horse! It's a message from Boudwin to King Arthur. It asks him to send the promised aid at once. It says he can entrust his battle plan to this messenger. Mm. Let the man on the message rot. We'll return to camp. My lord, the message states that King Arthur has agreed to join the battle. Eventually, the power of the round table will be thrown against us. I know, we cannot stop it. But if we knew King Arthur's plan, the knight of the round table could be surprised mm. and perhaps slaughtered. How? My lord. Permit me to go to King Arthur's court as this messenger. Excellent. Excellent. Come in. You asked for me? Ah, yes. I wanted you to be the first to see the miraculous spell I managed to cast over this bird. Order of Columbe, known as Dove or Pigeon. I've given one to Master Brian to take to the crossroads when he will freed from the cage, and the bird, obedient to my command, will fly straight back to the castle with a message attached to its leg. I see, a sort of carrier pigeon. An excellent name for them. When I announce my new discovery to the court, due credit shall be given to you. Did you know that King Solomon was known to have used birds for sending messages during wartime? Uh -huh. Oh, yes, you can read all about it in this volume of Solomon's Military Exploits. What an extraordinary coincidence. Solomon says that his success with the birds was merely a matter of training. It would appear, Sir Knight, that you have an uncanny and a nasty way of uncovering all my secrets. <laughs> no uncovered secrets they shall remain. Perhaps the bird has arrived. On horseback, too, by the sound of it. Take me to your master. I come from Prince Boudwin.
grave matter is upon us, noble knights. Long ago, I promised to aid Prince Budwin if ever King Mark should attack him. Now the gentle prince's castle is under siege to the death, and the time has come to give weight to that promise. I have drawn our battle plan, which will be dispatched at once with Budwin's messenger. Hold, sire. Merlin. Forgive my interference, my lord, but should a message of such importance be inscribed on parchment, if anything happened to this worthy messenger, this plan might fall into the hands of King Mark. True. If a castle is besieged, aren't the ablest of knights required to force an entrance? Also true. Sir Lancelot, commit this to memory. And now, sire, only you and Sir Lancelot know the contents of this scroll. I approve. Before the sun sets, you will ride to the castle of Budwin. Your solemn word that you will reveal this message to no man except Budwin. On my oath as a knight of the round table, I swear. I still don't see why a squire should be guardian to a bird, my lord. One of Merlin's whims. <laughs> He says they're good companions. A squire's supposed to have some dignity, you know. Suppose if the worst comes, we can always eat it. until dark and then proceed to the castle. Many years ago, I was a guest at Boudouin's castle. I don't remember these woods. They're only known to a few. The castle is about an hour's ride from here. Why does the messenger take so long? Perhaps he lost his way. Oh, here he is. The way is dangerous. Mark's men are all around. I'm afraid, Sir Knight, we may not all get through. If you were to fail, the message would not reach Boudwin. I'm aware of that. And if the boy or I got through, we'd have no message to convey. Then I should share the message with you and Brian? I think only of Boudwin's safety. He must know what King Arthur will do. I am under oath. The answer is no. But, Sir Knight... No. Sir Knight, you Be must... Be quiet! And what is ambushed? Since he's returned. Enough to know that I'm not with friends. I'm King Mark. Your reputation is known to me. I want Arthur's battle plan. This traitor here understands my position. I can see that you value your life. Good. We understand each other. I shall have that message for your life. You will not speak. Master Torturer, are you ready? I'm ready, sire. Take him.
I told him nothing. But they may torture you again. Very likely. But he'll kill you. Couldn't you tell him what he wants? Brian, a knight swears to act honorably in all things. Would you have me betray my oath? I don't see the oath means so much when your life's at stake. Where's the honor in being killed? You mean there's more honor in life than in death, you're quite right. Well, then save your life. You prize life highly. Yet you would have me send King Arthur to almost certain death, together with Sir Kay, Sir Tristram, and all our friends. I, I didn't think of it that way. Brian, if I give in now, I shall live out my days at Judas, hated and scorned by all men, even by you. Begun to like the bird. He was good company while I was alone. Carry a pigeon. Quick, hide it. Not every prisoner is accorded the tender mercy of my wife. Sir Lancelot, the Queen of Salt. I have long admired your chivalrous deeds. My husband and I are seldom in agreement. I do not believe in torture and savagery. Enough! Hold you this loyal tongue. And now that you have seen the glory of the round table, you may go. Would you allow me to finish, my lord? May we meet again in a happier time. I hope you find the strength to keep your trust. You will do. That is until he can no more. What new horror have you devised now, my lord? To make the man speak, we will torture the boy. Monster! Ugh. Trust me, Sir Knight. Tomorrow we will see whether his hide is as brave as his tongue. <laughs> to tell me that this message was brought here from Mark's castle by that bird? The wonders of this world are infinite. I feel it safe to say that even I uh, do not understand them all. That's quite a confession, Master Merlin. Yes, in view of this, I see no alternative but to change the plan of battle. Have the knights left yet? All but Sir Tristram and Sir Claude, who wait upon you. Then we must act quickly if we hope to catch the others. Summon Sir Tristram and Sir Claude. If I might suggest, sire, this is a case where few are better than many. Yes. I will send word to the knights to be on their guard against Mark's men. Meanwhile, the four of us will attack the castle. Ah, Sir Tristram, Sir Claude. Lancelot is imprisoned by King Mark. What are we to do, sir? Our original battle plan is changed. We four will ride at once to Mark's castle. Lancelot suggests we send the bird aloft to tell him that we are ready. 
Then we'll wait in the woods for his signal to attack. Now, let's prepare for action. Now that you have had time to think it over, the decision is yours. Will you send this boy to the torture chamber? You hold me responsible for what you do? Hear me, Mark. If you harm that boy, you'll answer to me if I live. And if I die, there is not one night of the round table will rest until this outrage is avenged. Take him away. I'll try to be brave. It is still in your power to save him. Sir, I'm ready to speak. Well? Not until the boy is released from the wreck. Open. Fetch the boy. So the brave knight has a weakness after all. Without weakness, there can be no bravery. Only brutality. Brian, are you all right? Have you been tortured yet? Not yet, sir. I'm ready. The battle plan. Which one, Arthur? has many. Don't quibble. The one that you committed to memory. Ah, that one. Naturally. Sir. Sir, don't tell. The plan is this. Two columns will faint to the north and the west, but the main force of Arthur's men will drive through the ford from the south. At what time is this to take place? At mid-afternoon today. Without waiting word from you? With or without confirmation. How do I know you're not lying? On my oath as a knight of the round table, that is the plan I committed to memory. Withdraw our forces from Baldwin's castle. Move them to the fort. Every available man-at-arms here will leave and join our main body. And at last, I can destroy Arthur. I would never have believed this if I had not seen it myself. Thirty pieces. That is the proper payment, is it not? Right, come on! Hold! Hold! Stop there, man! Stop him!
Withdraw beyond the moat if you value the life of this boy. A bargain, Mark. His life for yours. No bargain. Withdraw. We withdraw. you asked for. It was another plan that defeated you. You will withdraw your legions from Budwin's castle and under pain of death never again bear arms against him. As you wish, my lord. Sire, I ask a boon. Granted. I transfer it to this good queen, shackled in unhappy alliance to King Mark. I agree, my lady. It is my deepest wish, sire, to live at the castle of the gentle Boudouin. When you are ready to leave, madam, Sir Tristram will escort you there. I'm at your command. Forgive my doubts, Sir Lancelot. And my stupidity. You should be put to death, but I am, I hope, a merciful king. You will think upon your misdeeds in your own dungeon for four seasons. When that time has passed, we will consider again. You've done a worthy day's work, Sir Lancelot. Thank you, sire. But I owe my life to Master Merlin's pigeons. Master Merlin's miraculous pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> Now listen to my story, yes, listen while I sing Of days of old in England when Arthur was the king Of Merlin the magician and Guinevere the queen And Lancelot the bravest knight the world has ever seen In days of old, when knights were bold This story told of Lancelot he rode the wilds of England, adventures for to seek, to rescue maidens in distress and help the poor and weak. If anyone oppressed you, he'd be your champion. He fought a million battles and he never lost the one. In days of old, when knights were bold, this story's told of Lancelot. In days of old, when knights were bold, this story's told of Lancelot. 